fair warning, this is not a normal video of mine, but I had a really fun day, so I just wanted to share it with y'all. As y'all can see, we don't got the normal setup, not in Fort Myers, back home in Broward County, because I'm going to the Dolphins game on Monday Night Football versus the Tennessee Titans. But while I'm here, I wanted to get a video out to y'all, because I haven't posted since the last Dolphin game, uh, missed the last couple Heat games, at least as far as making videos. I wasn't able to watch the game versus the Raptors because I was at this like Christmas light show at a nice botanical garden with my girl. Uh, I planned it for that night because the Heat weren't supposed to play because according to the schedule at the beginning of the season they had the the play in tournament or the in-season tournament during that time and it said team to be dated but they had the dates listed now all of a sudden the heat missed that tournament they moved the dates around the, the in-season tournament i think that thing is stupid anyways of course wanted to get a video out to y'all in the childhood room and it's been a while since i've recorded in here so for the people that are new here uh you can tell this is my childhood home because behind me we have the big three miami heat poster except with a uh, hassan Whiteside cut out and pasted over lebron uh back over there we have a goron drogic calendar uh, we have a picture of me uh back when i was a little little bigger uh when i just started taking hoop seriously with mr Dwayne wade and another one with my guy mario Chalmers. Man, how far have I come? You already said it. <laughs> well, I could cut out whatever I want to cut out. Oh. But anyways, today I was able to meet another Miami Heat legend, future Miami Heat legend. Uh, I woke up uh, at 10.30 today, slept in, because I'm on kind of a little bit of a mini vacation, and I saw that Heat vs. Haters retweeted on Twitter that Jaime Jaquez was coming to a mall in Miami for an autograph signing. So I got ready immediately, threw on one of the only outfits I had, unfortunately. If y'all have seen the pictures already, or, or you'll see at the end of this video, I know I'm dressed like a bum, but that's because, like I said earlier, I didn't plan on doing this today. So when I drove home from Fort Myers yesterday, I didn't bring any of my nicer clothes with me. And the only clothes that I had here was like a bunch of free shirts that I got, like this one that I got at a heat game like 10 years ago. So it's the best I had, went in my car, left immediately, and it took almost an hour to get from where I'm at in Broward to the Dayton Mall in Miami. And we all know that's because of that Miami. Miami's daily traffic. So I get to the mall at 12.30, about two and a half hours before Hame's supposed to be there. They make you buy an item if you want to take a picture. I guess that's how they make their money. So you could buy a picture, a picture with a frame, a basketball, or a jersey. Of course I went with the cheapest option, which is just the picture, which still cost $30, which is a bit overpriced. But hey, it's to get a picture with Hame Hawkins, get an autograph, really not that bad. So after I buy the item, the guy directs me where to go wait in line. And I'm thinking, it's two and a half hours before he gets here, and I'm already supposed to line up? Sure enough, I go look where the line's at, and I'd be about 20th in line, which is good. But here's the problem. Everybody that bought a jersey got to go in a VIP line. So although I was there two and a half hours early and was 20th in line, by the time 3 o'clock rolled around, I was about 150th in line. So behind me... I can't even tell you how long the line was. It was going outside of the mall, literally outside the door and around the corner. I honestly estimate there was close to 500 people there, if not more. So I finally get inside the store. I gotta take a quick video with Hame Hakas in the background and send it to my girlfriend because she also loves her some Hame Hakas. And uh, unfortunately, this was her response. So yeah. <laughs> And finally, after three hours of waiting in line, I get to the front and see that man. The man that y'all know I got a foot fetish for the footwork, baby. Or at least that's what I like to say. Uh, truthfully, I wasn't going to fanboy or anything like that. One, just because, you know, he's a regular person. But two, he's three years younger than me. Uh, I'm 25. I'm an adult. So I felt like it'd be a little weird to fanboy. Uh, but it was still really dope to meet him. So I asked him how it was going. He signed his autograph. They took a couple photos, which I actually think came out relatively nice considering I looked like I just woke up. Uh, and then I told Hame, I said, thanks, daddy. And I went about my way. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I didn't say that to him. Uh, as I was walking away, I did say, keep teaching the kids that footwork, man. And he said, I got you, bro. Uh, and then I went out and I left and I let the other 400 people behind me get their turn. Uh, so I went to Foot Locker and I made a purchase that I'm not proud of. Uh, yeah, if y'all can see here. Uh, just because, you know, I don't want to support Mr. Giannis Antetokounmpo, but I figure, hey, 
I was just coming from wearing Kyrie's and he's not much better. So anyways, I picked up a pair of Giannis's mainly just because they were 60 bucks uh, and they're kind of clean, to be honest. Uh, and I don't like spending a lot of money on hoop shoes because with how much I play, I run through hoop shoes like one pair every like four months. So stop that at Michael's on the way to pick up a frame for the Hame Hakez picture. And here it is. Now, unfortunately, if the camera focuses here, uh, the autograph marker was kind of running out. It's kind of light, but I mean, not bad. Uh, still looks kind of nice. Looks pretty good in the frame. Uh, and as soon as I get back to Fort Myers, I'll be finding a place to hang this thing up. So overall, it was a really cool day. Uh, I never actually been to an autograph signing before. Of course, I do have some autographs. I got a, a signed D-Wade back here. Y'all know I got the signed Jimmy jersey back home. I have a signed Bam picture as well. Uh, the ball in most of my videos is signed by Bam and UD, for those of y'all that don't know too. But this is my first time actually getting an item signed by a player in front of me. No, that's not true. When I was at Miami Heat Camp like 10 years ago, I did get Mario Chalmers to sign a calendar. So this is kind of my second autograph signing, but I know that he'd do this at, at the Miami Heat store. Last year, they had Strews come and Tyler come. I uh, wasn't able to make those, uh, but it was nice because this with Tommy Hawkins is also kind of an investment, right? Because he's a young guy. He's a rookie. I'll hang the picture up. Uh, and if he's great, I'll keep it on the wall. And if he ends up sucking, I'll just take it down and throw it away. But obviously, I, I think that we all think the potential is there for Jaime Hawkins to truly be a heat lifer, uh, just because you really feel like he he defines that culture. Not only because he's coming as a rookie and he's put up great numbers. I think on the season, he's averaging like 13 points on over 50% from the field, like 37% from three. And his numbers of late of the last few weeks are even much, much better. But it's just because he's a fun player to watch. He's athletic. I, I joke about loving the footwork, but I genuinely love the footwork. Y'all know Hakeem Olajuwon is my favorite player ever. I just like guys that are able to use their IQ and their and they, they, it's like they're playing chess out there. And that's something I love about Jaime Jaquez. And really, he has no weaknesses that jump off the page. He could shoot, he could attack, he could pass, he can defend. And he's doing all of that as a rookie. As a Heat fan, outside of Bam and Abayo, Jaime Hawkins is what has me truly, truly excited for the future of this team. So that's really all I got to say about this video. Sorry, I've been busy for the last few games. Wasn't able to get reaction videos up. Obviously, they play Monday versus the Hornets. I'll be at the Dolphins game, so I won't have a reaction video to that either. And if you enjoyed this type of video, leave a like. And if you didn't enjoy this type of video, leave a like anyways, because I'm really trying to push the channel out there. Uh, I was going to promote at the mall today. I even have these cards with a QR code on it. Like I used to do back in my vlogs back in the day. Uh, if y'all haven't seen my vlogs, check those out. I actually have a few like actual, actual vlogs where I recorded a, a ton of content. But because today I went to the mall alone, I didn't have anyone to record for me. So I only took a couple clips. But other than that, I'm officially out. I'll see y'all next time. Look, pull up in the city, tryna get that dead fast slash. Do it on my own, I don't need no dead weight. Like, had to kill him off, yeah, I need a headspace. You know this homegrown bitch, don't a fan, mate. Hmm.